to Natalie. We're stuck at home like we are supposed to be, like everybody. For five years, I've been working on this uh, documentary uh, about Frank Zappa. And we were supposed to have our world premiere at South by Southwest Film Festival uh, on Friday the 13th, of course, in March. And uh, roughly two weeks before, the world announces that there's this virus thing and we probably shouldn't do this. So people started pulling out of it, then the festival just closed, and then now it's just, it's affecting the whole world. I had wrote a song and made this music video and I had Dweezil Zappa do a cameo in it. And it was shot on Super 8 film and the video never really fully got to be made uh, because the master footage was burned. It was just, it's just gone. And now here we are all these years later and the whole idea that I have this footage and I'm making a movie about the father and I have footage of the house. So uh, I start looking in boxes and I find a bunch of my old film and I, actually found the dailies of the entire music video. It's on a tape and it wasn't a very great looking transfer, but I was able during this to restore this music video. And I was going to premiere it when we did the Zappa, you know, uh, premiere. That's when I figured I'd have it about finished. Uh, but since that didn't happen, I didn't know how to explain it. Like I just explained it to you. Cause if I just showed it to you, you'd be like, what is this weird thing with a, a kid jumping around making a music video? So I made a documentary that sets it all up. And you've now seen this uh, thing. I have, and I, I love the style of it. I, I love your voice explaining it. I think it's just really enjoyable, but I'm curious how you got to that point to want to make a music video. So MTV became this place where filmmaker people took a song and made little movies. And I like the ones that were funny like David Lee Ross, California Girls. It's a story, but not really a story. And it was really cool. And Cindy Lauper had a music video where she goes out and her dad, you know, yells at her. And um, those are the things I just thought were cool. There are people who had really an imaginative ones. The uh, AHA Take On Me was truly one of the coolest music videos that ever existed. I just said, well, I want to write my own songs. I don't have a guitar, but I'm going to buy one. I'm going to figure out how to do it. I don't have a keyboard. I'm going to buy one and figure out how to do it. And that's just took the Super 8 film and I kept doing all that stuff all the time and everything's a continuation of that. If you don't know how to do something, you learn and then you're able to do it. You got, you have like magic happening over there. I do like it when people try to do other things and I encourage people to do those things. You said you learned keyboard, you learned guitar. Do you read music? No. I didn't think so. No. I said that during this time, um, I, I should probably make a, harder effort to, to do more music theory. I get some of it, but I'm not a master at it in any way. Uh, mostly, this sounds really pretentious and stupid, but when, uh, like I've made scores for stuff before, even in film school, I scored uh, people's films. And it wasn't like they sought me out to do it. It's just somehow I was connected in it some way. And then I would be like, oh, and I, add something to the song and or add to the film and then they would hey can we just pay you to put that in the movie and so i began scoring films and a lot of uh, the web series i did uh, a lot of the incidental music was all done by me and i would give myself 15 minutes to come up with it with a feeling but it's i said it sounds very pretentious but you just hear in your head how it's supposed to go and then you just make those sounds and that's how you make it right that's kind of how i've done all that stuff and I have pieces in, the, in that Zappa movie that I did too. It's the same way. I know what I was looking for. I just made those sounds uh, and those music pieces and just went for what was in your head. But I don't literally know the essence of how music theory works. I know when it doesn't work. I think that's part of the, your brain. That's how it works. You, you know what's good and what's not. Talking on the Zoom, maybe she'll talk to you.